Well, hello everybody. I hope you can see me. This is the start of the Facebook happy hour. I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can see you. Um, we are ready to go. I want to welcome you all to the Merrick Library Facebook happy hour. It's a happy half hour. If we run a little long, don't worry about it. You can leave anytime you want. But the first thing you want to probably do is grab your beverage. Mine is Dr. Pepper, of course, and I'm ready to go, so cheers. And let's get started. The first thing I really wanna do is say a big shout out to all of our Merrick patrons. We love you, we miss you, we really hope that you are all staying home, staying safe, and staying healthy. We can't wait till we open up our doors again and welcome you back, but just also, be aware that even though the building itself may not be available to you now, we are available virtually. So you can find all of the, almost everything that we have available, go to the Merrick Library website and um, you'll find all the latest and the greatest there. You can follow us on Facebook. And I hope to see you at some of the events that we have virtually, Facebook Live, children's events that are coming up. So definitely take a look at that. If you're just joining us or joining me, this is the first Facebook Live Happy Half Hour. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen, which means really anything can happen. And like I said, I do want to give a special shout out to all of the Merrick Library patrons out there. We miss you and uh, we want to thank you for all your support. You guys are amazing and always so supportive. I also want to take the time to thank you all for pausing your binge watch of the Tiger King and your binge watch of Ozark because you know those are really popular shows so I appreciate you taking the time to spend here with us for this happy hour happy half hour and I did contact Joe Exotic he was not available he's a little busy right now but he did send over a friend so he will be with us for much of this time Okay, so the first thing I want to do is talk about an amazing competition that we have, we're sponsoring right now. It's the Merrick Library versus the Belmore Library. Who will read the most books April 1st through April 30th? This is a very easy and simple and fun competition, if you want to call it that. And it started on April 1st. All you have to do is read any book for the month this is open to everyone so everyone can participate children adults anybody can participate who merrick belmore patrons now uh you earn one point for each book that you read pretty easy you post your book and you can tag it with a special hashtag wait can you see that i'm getting used to this okay is that better uh so you want to read your books and april 1st through april 30th and we'll see who wins. I think I know who's going to win. Hopefully you guys will all participate. Hi, Janet. I see you there. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a little beverage. Mine is Dr. Pepper. That's what the D stands for in my glass. Um, okay, so you'll find out more about this reading competition on the Facebook page and on Instagram. And it's really fun. I've already started. So read anything you want. Listen to the books that you want. And you just, um, what do you do? You go to hashtag Merrick book, Belmore Merrick book battle. That's the hashtag you use if you wanna post your book in a picture or something like that around your house. So I would recommend doing that. That would be a fun thing to do. Now, this is a competition for all ages to see who reads the most books for, oh, I see that Ellen, hi Ellen, posted her first book. So she's already started reading. So way to go team. There it is right there. So you can find out all about that on our Facebook page and on our Instagram page with all the details and on how to, how to do all of that. When I talked about being accessible virtually, one of the things I want to tell you about, there is no waiting list for this service. You go right to the page, you click into Hoopla. Okay, this Hoopla has um, eBooks, audiobooks, comics, movies, music, and more. 
So that's Hoopla. And previously, I posted a video about the books that I recommended from Hoopla. So one of the things that I wanted to revisit is The Keeper of Lost Things, which is by Ruth Hogan, The Sacrament by Olaf Olafsson, and Writers and Lovers by Lily King. I don't know if you can see that. Getting the hang of this. There it goes. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, so those are three books that I recommend. And then I went out to the regular reader services group and all the librarians chimed in with some of their best uh, titles that they found on Hoopla. The one thing I wanna say about Hoopla is over the last month, because of increased demand, they have launched over 400 additional titles in seven days. So just remember that if you, um, have trouble with the website or it's a little slow and you're trying to get in, there are lots and lots of people trying to access this service because there is no waiting period. You go in and you get your book and there's no um, waiting list, which is pretty amazing. So if you're looking for something, these are three of my recommendations. Um, definitely check them out. I, I did recommend them in an earlier video when I talked about Hoopla, which is on the Facebook page, you can find that. And I think it's on the YouTube channel. <gasps> We have a YouTube channel. Are you impressed with that? I'm impressed with that. So you can go look up our YouTube channel. So the first thing I want to do is also, while I'm talking to you on the side of my screen, which you can't see, but I'm seeing all kinds of very calm, uh, very interesting. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Aileen, how's it going? You can submit your books that you're reading and any questions that you may have. People don't think this is Dr. Pepper. I will never tell. I will never tell. So I'm going to just have a little sip now. Okay. Delish. The first book I want to talk about very quickly is The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. This comes from Reader Services Librarian Lori. You may already know her because she's put out a really fabulous video on Facebook. Also, I love seeing her face. And I know a lot of you married patrons know Lori when she was in the children's section. Now she's in adult services in, in the reader services department and we are thrilled to have her and she's such a gem. Okay, so this is available, ebook, audiobook. I'll bring it a little closer. Um, it is historical fiction of the United States from the 1930s and you can see it's already got a bunch of almost five stars on this one now when i first talked about this book in my uh video a couple of weeks ago there were not that many type uh, not that many checkouts it's up to 252. okay so that's book Wom woman of troublesome creek i'm having trouble <laughs> with these pages okay the next one is from reader services librarian shannon now shannon and i are kindred spirits and we both share an incredible love of science fiction horror and speculative fiction there's not a lot of us out there but here we are we're here so shannon brings to the table i am legend and other stories this is available as an audiobook but all of richard matheson's other titles are available on hoopla he is a master of the genre and one thing that Shannon said was fans of the movie should come for the not who come for the novel should stay for the amazing short stories at the end and she is 100% right don't miss the short stories they are amazing and if you don't know who Richard Matheson in is he's like I said a master of the genre then we'll take a little bit of a different spin on things and we'll go to be frank with me now this is from reader services librarian Christine but also, Lori has read this book, I have read this book, the assistant director, there's a whole bunch of us who have read this book and absolutely loved it. What I love is that Christine reads a lot, listens to a lot of audiobooks, which I don't do that often. So Christine recommends this one highly for uh, to listen to as an audiobook. It's, this book is Think Where'd You Go Bernadette Meets the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. There's a little, there's a Ponzi scheme. It's got a little bit of a mystery involved. So there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Please don't miss this one. This one is really, really good. Really immersive and interesting and funny and humorous and just loved it. And I think it's a good recommendation. Thank you, Christine. From Reader Services Librarian Amy, we have nonfiction, a nonfiction title. 
Uh, this is by David Goggins. This is called Can't Hurt Me. It is so motivational and so inspirational. Inspirational. <laughs> it is available as an ebook and an audiobook, and it's the story about how Goggins overcame uh, tremendous obstacles. You have to read it to believe it. And he became an elite Navy SEAL and now recently being named the fittest man in America by Outside Magazine. So don't miss this one. It's terrific. And then from uh, Rita Services Librarian Jill, we have for uh, those who are curious and want to know what the history of this topic is all about. Um, she recommends the pandemic century, but it's great because it's sort of an investigative report, but it's it's almost written like a novel. It's got epidemiologists, behind the scenes stuff. He, the author is um, Mark Honig, Honigsbaum, I think. Yes. And what he does here is he constructs this history that is immensely readable. So. I would check that out too, for all those that are curious in there. And then lastly, I have something from Librarian Bill, who recommends this incredible cozy mystery series. It is by Carola Dunn. This is book one, and this is Death at Wentwater Court. You will find yourself transported to 1923 Britain. I recommend this Cozy Mystery series. It, this is an audio version, but all of the books are there. So with that, that's a, a quick group of all of the books that we've been reading. And if you've got any questions or there's other books that you want to tell me what you're reading about, I just want to go back to my top three right here. There they are. Very good. I'm just going to scroll down and see if anyone's got any comments. Hi, Marianne. Oh, Marianne. Marianne from Massapequa, I think. Uh, she's reading the amazing Harlan Cohen, and she's reading The Boy from the Woods, which, listen, that's also incredible. And I see Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Oh, I see Lori chiming in. Oh, somebody just said they were going to actually go grab a Dr. Pepper, too. So that's what that D stands for. Let me turn it. There it is, Dr. P. Okay. Um, Be Frank With Me is great. Uh, I see Evelyn recommending it. Jan it is because it's someone called a quirky momlet. I like that description. I That works for me. It is really funny and smart. Um, also a book called Jill is saying Can't Hurt Me is also great. And Donna. Hi, Donna. How are you? She says that she also read uh, her uh, Cra uh, Carol Carola's uh, British Cozy Mysteries, and she is a big fan of that. There are a lot of good titles, and one of the things that are so there's two that are uh, suggested on here, and I appreciate it. This is Ellen also suggesting um, erotic stories of Punjabi women is a crowd pleaser. It is very funny and so well written. And I also just love that book. So thanks for that recommendation, Ellen. There's so much on there I can't. Well, Dr. Pepper. Um, also on the Times bestseller list is Boy from the Woods. So you can get that there too. And if you remember what I said about Hoopla, right? Let me go back to this. Hoopla. Right, so there is going to be a little bit of a waiting list on this sometime not a waiting list i'm sorry if things if it's hard for you to get in just keep trying because they are inundated and i don't know how many people are on staff there but they are really doing their best so you can search by genre you can search by graphic novel and remember every book you read counts towards this belmore merrick friendly competition we'd like to call it between the two libraries and your book battle submissions can go to Belmore Merrick book battle so I think I'm reading that right so um, Ellie or Mia just let me know correct me if I'm wrong and you can fill out a little form and submit your book and like I said every time you take a picture of you of your book and you post it onto social media use the hashtag 
Belmore Merrick book battle. I think that's right. And once you do that, you get an extra point for us. So um, start your engines, right? This is, hi, Big Bill, I see you. So that's what we've got. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about, in case you missed the other video that I did, Keeper of Lost Things is a debut. <laughs> the Keeper of Lost Things, there it is, okay, is a debut by Ruth Hogan. And it's got a little magical realism in it, and it was really immersive for me, and it sort of took me out of everything else that I was thinking about and watching and, and all of those things. Oh, we have a friend here who wants to come in and say hello again. There he is. Okay. Um, also, I loved the sacrament. Now, I guess if you're already watching Tiger King, I don't have to tell you this, but uh, there are no tigers in this book, but this is a really interesting, scary, uncomfortable psychological thriller. So if it's not for the faint of heart, so I'd be really careful when you read it, just so you know, not it's not for everybody. And then Lily King, I don't think you can see the cover so well, but it's Writers and Lovers by Lily King. She wrote Euphoria, and if you love Euphoria, you will love this book. She hits it out of the park with this one. And I also noticed that once we started pushing it, uh, when I first came up in Hoopla and I started looking at it, there weren't that many checkouts. Now it's up to 65 checkouts. So it's it's worth a look. I'm going to scroll down here and see what else I've got. Uh, oh, book battle. Okay. Belmore Merrick book battle. Do go, So go to, uh, yeah. All right. I'll figure out where to tell you to go. Um, and then Miera, one of our top fans, says that she just listened to Daisy Jones and the Six uh, and the Six on audiobook. And it was absolutely incredible as an audiobook. The full cast was so great. I feel like I'm missing out on that because I don't often listen to audiobooks. I think it's a multitasking thing with me. I don't know. Well, then I'm going to have a little Dr. Pepper. Okay. Uh, so Daisy Jones and the Six is on there. And also just recently loaded was Separation Anxiety. And the author's name went right out of my head. But that is such a funny, sweet story. And it's also, also really good. The one thing I wanted to mention about The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek is that this is historical fiction from the 1930s. And it's truly about um, its courage, strength, one woman's belief that books can carry us anywhere. Well, I kind of believe that too. And it's um, thanks to Roosevelt's Kentucky Pack Horse Library Project, Troublesome's got its very own traveling librarian, and her name is Cussie Mary Carter, and it's all about her journey. And that's E and audio as well. Uh, in the coming weeks, I will probably, yes, people are saying absolutely, Daisy Joan is spectacular on audio. Thank you, Donna. I know, you'll convert me. I know you guys will. And, um, yeah, that's a great suggestion. Um, Evelyn is saying, if you're looking to start audiobooks like me and get more immersed in them and trying them more often, try that Daisy Jones because it is perfect for your first audiobook. So hopefully you can try that. And like I said, the beauty of Hoopla is that there is no waiting list. So I'm thrilled about that as well. Um, and yeah, everyone is agreeing that that's also um, spectacular on audio. And it does go well, thank you, Lori, with a book called The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. So those books kind of came out around the same time, but I would suggest this one first, and then you can always go over to Overdrive and add The Giver of Stars, which is by, I promise I'm gonna get this before the half hour's over. There you go. There it is, okay. Yeah, see, okay. Um, so that's also worth looking at. Um, they have a lot of nice nonfiction. And I did really, I started reading this. I read about four or five chapters in. I could not put this book down. So I appreciate Amy's recommendation for Can't Hurt Me because it really is a motivational 
story. Um, it's also the subtitle is Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds. And I don't know if I'm defying the odds of figuring out this screen, but you're going with me. There it is. There it is. Okay. Um, so thank you, Lori, for that. I appreciate it. I really hope everyone is staying home and staying safe and staying healthy. The other thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if you could see it back here, we have a podcast. So if you do like listening to audiobooks, you may also like listening to the Top Shelf at Merrick Library podcast. I get the incredible opportunity to interview authors about their books, and I can't think of a luckier person than I am to be able to do that. And I thank everybody at the board and the directors for allowing me to do that. So if you do get a chance, um, you can pop your buds in and, and listen to that. The Merrick Library newsletter, if you're not getting the e-newsletter, you should sign up for that. It has all of the latest and the greatest information. We've got so much stuff out there. I don't want you to miss it. Um, oh, Lisa, salute. It's Dr. Pepper. I'm just saying it's Dr. Pepper. Just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is Dr. Pepper. So yes, yeah, salute. Um, the pot. Oh, thank you. Someone said the podcast is great. I appreciate that. It's, um, it's a labor of love. I just, I love doing it just as much as I love talking books and someone is saying it is called a book. I want to hold this up again because I really want to make sure that all of the Merrick patrons who are watching take advantage of this really fun competition. April 1st through April 30th, any book counts. So ebook, audiobook, graphic novel, comic, whatever it is, make sure you register it so that we know and it counts towards all of um, our totals. And I think that's very good. Ellen, I don't know why you're laughing. I can only imagine what I'm doing right now. But so what, what I, my important takeaways are Hoopla. Also, if you're not watching Tiger King, you really have to. And I just finished Ozark last night, and I have to just, that was some show. If you don't watch Ozark, I would recommend that. And like I said, we couldn't get Exotic Joe here, but we have this, this little guy here in his place. Make sure you check the Facebook page because we've got all kinds of Facebook Live events coming up, especially the children's. Uh, stuff they they're doing such a great job i would definitely check 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 that out uh librarian ellie read strigonona this week which is such that is so near and dear to my heart and i love that she did that so and she did a great job right in her own living room so hi debbie jones i'm glad you're watching hope you're good and what else what else can i tell you hoopla be frank with me this would be my if I were you, my go-to, Daisy Jones and the Sixes, other librarians who are watching have mentioned. I haven't listened to it, but I will be listening to it. Okay, I will listen to it. We've got about six or seven minutes left, and I still have a little more Dr. Pepper left. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, let me know. Thank you so much, Allison. I appreciate it. Um, I do, again, want to thank so much the Merrick Library patrons because you guys are so amazing and you're so supportive. And I love seeing you guys, the emails that you've sent, the comments that you make on our Facebook page, really, really touching. And we're very appreciative that you guys are out there and loving what we do because we're here to work with you and 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 just we're all in this together right so anything we can do to help you is is our pleasure so make sure you get on that Merrick Library e-newsletter mailing list and I believe you can go to the Merrick Library website and you can sign up there we put something out about once a week and it sort of tells you all about the virtual museum tours, which I don't know if you know that you could do this, but we just loaded it up this week. Um, 
I can't, I don't know, Michelle, if you're out there, let me know. I think there's a way that you can actually take these virtual tours. The New York Botanical Garden has a virtual tour. Um, I don't remember the other ones, but we have a, a tab with a list of all the things. And I think we just posted that to Facebook also. So it's a virtual tour and you can sort of walk around this museum. It's, it's pretty exciting and, and I love it. How many books a week on average are you reading in quarantine? Even if it's not on, if it's not on Hoopla, what's your favorite book thus far? That's from James and Merrick. Hello, James and Merrick. Wait, James and Merrick. Our little friend wants to say hello to you. There he is. Um, I would say before all of this, I read way more than I'm actually reading now. So I would say on an average per week, I'd probably read maybe two and a half books a week, right? Give or take. It just depends on if it's a 500 pager, like a mammoth, 600 pager. Uh, it's going to take me um, longer to get through that. I'm showing you. Here you go, Mary. Here's the first three books. Whoops. If you are having a beverage right now, it is not your screen. It is me. <laughs> so, just so you know, there it is. Um, Keeper of Lost Things, The Sacrament, and Writers and Lovers. So I would say on an average, I would read about two and a half books a week, just depending on the page length. And then, but during this time that we're in, I find like I really can't focus but one of the books I've been able to focus on, and you can add this to your TBR pile, your to be read pile, is a book that's coming out. It was pushed back. Most of the books are being pushed back to September release dates. Uh, it's a book called The End of the Day by Bill Clegg, C-L-E-G-G. -G. He wrote a book called If You've Ever Had If You've If You've Never Had a Family, If You've Ever Had a Family. I'm not going to open up another screen right now because I may crash this thing. So if anybody knows what the title is, if you've never had a family, if you, I can't exactly remember, um, but it's close to that. Yes, it's definitely the Dr. Pepper. There's too much sugar. Come on, too much sugar in Dr. Pepper. I shouldn't be drinking soda. Um, it is so hard to concentrate, Evelyn. It's unbelievable. And normally, like I said, I can sort of plow through and read two to three books a week, but I, I find that one thing that has been sort of bringing me back down to earth is this book called The End of the Day by Bill Clegg. And he wrote, if you've, if you've never had, a, if you've ever had a family, I think was his first book. And it's, it's great. And I find that that's the one thing I can concentrate on. And of course, I was watching The Tiger King and Ozark. I, I don't know what I'm going to do next. We were talking about what we were going to watch next, and I can't remember. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Yeah, Evelyn, if you start reading that arc, you should. It's great. Uh, he writes like a dream. Thank you, James and Merrick. Did you ever have a family? That book is startling in how good it is. I don't know that that's available on Hoopla, but I would definitely recommend it. I don't, it should be on overdrive, but there may be a waiting list for that. If there's not, start your engines and get over there and try it right now. But, because that was also another, uh, that was a beauty. So I'm reading this the end of the day and it's terrific. The other book I want to recommend, I, it's not on Hoopla yet, but you can add it to your overdrive. It's a book called When All Is Said by Anne Griffin. And that is just unbelievable also i interviewed her for a podcast that's the great thing i get to do is i get to do um you know i read a book i love it and then i figure out a way to get the author onto the podcast i don't use any untoward means um maybe dr pepper is involved in the discussion when i say if they would like to be on the podcast but uh ann griffin and all of the people that I interview on the podcast are really books that I have loved and recommend and book talk when we're when we're back at work. So, oh, James, James and Merrick, James and Merrick, there you go. Um, on Orthodox on Netflix. Yes, I have heard tons of things about that. So I'm all excited to watch that. Um, I am looking forward to that. And hold on here. I'm getting the hang of this. I hope you guys are all having a good time. I have about a minute left. 
and a little bit more of this left. If you have any more questions, I hope you like my kitchen. It's very comfortable. I've been seeing a lot of it. Although, to be fair, my husband has doing, been doing most of the cooking, so kudos to him keeping us all fed and healthy. Um, maybe if we do this again next week, I can tell you about the movies that are on Hoopla and the TV shows because there are some gems on there that are in case you missed it shows, in case you missed it TV shows. It was really nice taking a walk down memory lane and seeing some of those things that are there. And again, you can download them immediately and start watching. So somebody mentioned, Lori mentioned, um, <laughs> oh, Donna, the happy, the happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez, also recommended. Did you ever have a family is available on Libby, Lori. Love you, Lori. Um, so we may do that again next week. We may do movies and I just have to run out and get some more Dr. Pepper. But I think you can see that I have some in the back there, just in case you're wondering. Um, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope this wasn't too boring. Thank you for joining me. Please stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. I will work on Joe Exotic for the next time, if there's a next time. And uh, in the meantime, sign up for the Merrick Library email and don't forget to take part in this competition. We want to, we want to win. Don't we want to win? I want to win. Let's win. All right. Be safe, be healthy, and um, I promise I'll put more makeup on next time. All right, guys. Wait, hold on. There's last three more comments. Oh, love you guys. You're awesome. Thanks again, married patrons. Thanks to the board. Thanks to the directors. Thanks to everybody. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I'm just going to go rest <laughs> like I'm supposed to. All right. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.